As with any disaster, we are seeing a lot of people step up to do what they can to help. Today, as the shock of the tornado set in, there was a place to go to find even the smallest bit of relief in one of the communities that took a direct hit. Local 5's Stephanie Angleson reports from Winterset. In the moments immediately following the storm, this church behind me, the New Bridge Church was opened as an emergency shelter. It was a place where people could come in out of the cold. They could charge their cell phones. They could even spend the night here if their homes were damaged or destroyed, which we have been seeing cases of. Now, as the sun is rising in winter set, we're getting our first real look at the damage that's left behind and the trauma is fresh once again for people living here. But Again, inside this church today, a simple comfort that is offering real hope. The signs lead the way in the door, down a quiet hall, into a room filled with friendly faces. And the minute something like this hit, people weren't, the first thing that people were thinking was, how can I help somebody else? Steve Keller is one of the many volunteers at New Bridge Church, serving a hot breakfast for anyone who needs a meal or fellowship or both. He was out in the immediate aftermath and knows what damage like this is doing to his neighbors. People are just kind of in shock right now, I think. I mean, when you're in a small town like this, you just never think something like this would happen to you, and it really can. In times of shock and grief, people often turn to their faith. It's something Pastor John Shaw saw in the darkest of moments after the tornado hit. Last night I spent about two and a half hours at the hospital with a family who had lost family members and uh, had the opportunity to just minister to that family and to help care for them. And then also to spend some time with them as they were able to spend time with their couple of their deceased family members. So you, the best thing we can do is walk beside them. And sometimes walking beside someone is simple, like a typical Sunday brunch on an anything but typical Sunday. Steve Keller says helping out is easier than you think. And if it's if it's shoulder to cry on, if it's a pair of hands to lift something, whatever that is, I mean, that's what we need to be and that's what I'm here to do, whatever that is. I talked to the pastor again about how long they will be offering these services. How long will they stay open as a shelter? He really said as long as they are needed, but he expects this to at last at least a couple of days. The services here are going on, and interestingly enough, the topic of his sermon today will be answering a big question on many people's minds, and that is why. Reporting in Winterset, I'm Stephanie Angleson for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. And if you are looking for ways to help in the recovery efforts, you can text the word HELP to the number that you see there on your screen. We will send you a list of ways you can volunteer or donate to families in need.